Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I and I am her and over here we do mainly things fragrances. And there are times where I will add in a little bit of this or that just to add a little variety to it. So today is that time. It is monthly empties and these empties are from the month of March. So if you're interested in hearing about these empties, please stay tuned. so let's just get right into it but before we do that if you would as I always request if you are part of the nation would you please give the video a thumbs up if you are not and you like what you see over here go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so I keep my empties in this container here this is a bag this is one of those reusable shopping bags that you can get at TJ Maxx at checkout all right, so I made it through a hand soap. This is a foam and hand soap. This is the watermelon lemonade. It has fragrance notes of watermelon ice, sparkling watermelon, and mayor lemon. This is one of the most fragranced soaps that I own from Bath and Body Works. I really do like this. It has a very strong note of watermelon, and it did what foaming hand soaps do. Would I repurchase it? Definitely. All right, this is an Irish Spring Aloe Mist. I really think my husband really likes this. Um, he likes Dove too, but there are times I do think that he likes more deodorized soaps like most men do. So this, you know, Irish Spring is the number one deodorizing soap, one of the number one deodorizing soaps. Um, it's not a masculine scent, but it leans more masculine or unisex than it does just basic or feminine. Would I repurchase this? Definitely. I've already repurchased one. Just did it yesterday. You can also get this at CVS. They retail, I think, for like $6.37, but you can buy this at CVS and um, get back a $3 ECB. So you can roll it into another one. So that's almost like purchasing one and getting one 50% off if you want to do it like that. But this is a very nice fragrance and this is the one that I repurchased. So I definitely would. Hubby really likes that. All right. I also made it through this cleansing condition hair wash. I featured this in a collective haul one time, but this was the hair wash that they had at Trader Joe's and when I went to Trader Joe's about a week ago they still had some of this on the shelf but it is advertised as gentle moisturizing and it is for all types of hair I also like the fact that it is sulfate and detergent as well as paraffin free it is non foaming so you're not going to get that great lather that's the only thing that I didn't like about it would I repurchase it mm, yeah I probably would just for the sake of it to enjoy because I really do like Trader Joe's products but it's a grapefruit and mint scent and I do like the fact that it's a um, two-in-one and although my texture of hair I really have to put a really good deep conditioner in it to maintain the curls but the conditioner that was in here it was okay all right next thing I made it through a wicked vanilla woods I get so excited when I make it through full size body mist that is such an accomplishment to me what about you guys down in the comments below let me know how you feel when you make it through a full size body mist but i made it through the wicked vanilla woods um it has notes of vanilla sandalwood and pink pepper it's kind of distorted so i can barely see it do i like this i really really do i was on a hunt trying to find it in the last packaging, I could not find any at any store at SAS. I don't even think I saw it online. Would I repurchase it? Definitely. So hopefully they will repackage and push it out again um, towards the end of the year. So again, this is Wicked Vanilla Woods. If you like pink pepper and you need you a nice fine fragrance or body care to go or that has that pink pepper note in it, I definitely would recommend that. All right, I made it through an Olay Retinol. This is the Cleansing and Renewing. I really like these, you guys. You know, I picked these up at um, Target um, some time ago. They had them on clearance. So I got these anywhere from 
$4.60. They range from $4.60 to $5.80, I think. But um, this was the nighttime body wash, and this is a 17.9 full ounce, and I think that's really nice. And I do notice a difference in my skin when I use the Olay and the Dove um, skincare body wash. I really do notice a difference in how my skin feel, but I really enjoy these body washes. All right, made it through another one. This was one of the um, candy shops. This was the Sour Belts and um, this was the Sour Belts body wash. If you are a person that like those very sugary, high fragranced body washes. I would definitely recommend this native body wash because it is sulfate, paraben, and dye free. But as well as this stuff smell, you guys, you would think that it had the richest, bluest dye and it had something in it that gave it that very tarty, sugary note. So good. But it doesn't have all that extra stuff in it. And this body wash altogether, outside of the aesthetics as far as the way it smells, it lathers so good and it does get your skin really clean. I love a body wash that gets your skin really clean. I'm not, I don't care if body washes moisturize me because I'll go back over my body with a moisturizing body wash. But when I'm doing that initial cleanse, I want to hear that screeching sound, you know, like a, you know, the screeching sound. That's what I want to hear. And when you are using these native body washes, they really do get the skin clean. All right, made it through another um, foaming hand wash. This was a Love Me Some Bunny. This was one of my dollar 87 cents, as well as this one. I got these at SAS for 87 cents. Would I buy more? Always. I'm always up for a 75% off um, hand soap. You can find those at SAS all the time. This had notes of buttercream, sweet milk. Sweet vanilla milk. Yeah, but definitely enjoyed that. But made it through that. Made it through another foam and hand soap. This is the pomegranate blackberry. I had this in the main bedroom. It has autumn pomegranate sugar blackberry with vanilla spice did what foaming soaps do all right so this is a set i made it through this really enjoyed this this is the uplifting boost this was the neroli blossom and bergamot you will probably be able to find these at sas really soon if they don't sell out but i really enjoyed this line this is the only one that i got from the line it was always my intention to get the vanilla sandalwood but I never did get it so hopefully I can find it around SAS or if they have another aromatherapy carousel but I did make it through these really enjoyed them all right made it through a thousand wishes thousand wishes has fragrance notes of pink prosecco sparkling kinks crystal peonies glitting amber with amaretto cream you know you guys I almost went in store on body care day and stocked up on body scrubs but i had to remind myself i don't even really like these body scrubs honestly i don't um the exfoliating glow ones the creamy ones they're just not abrasive enough for me and some people are totally opposite they like the less abrasive ones whereas i like the heavy abrasive ones the ones that are really abrasive and i think those are the ones that have mainly salt in them so i'm more favorable of the aromatherapy care um one so i had to pump my brakes and realize that why are you going in there buying those things just because you can get them for 5.95 and you don't even really like them so will i repurchase this no not unless i can get it for 75 or 80 percent off and they don't ever do 80 percent off do they wishful thinking wishful thinking all right made it through one of my favorites um this is frosted moscow mule you guys this was so exciting to me when i found these at an sas after i had purchased nearly 20 of the candles but it has sweet lime zest and sugar cane i really enjoyed this and i got these for a dollar 87 cents at an um, sas all right made it through a couple um 
bacterial wipes you guys i go through these every month i just forget to i think i throw them away if i'm out or something but i made it through these these were the champagne toast and i hope they bring these back i haven't seen these in stores for a long time in a long time but i buy mine i don't think i i think i may have bought one at regular price and these are regular price at 850 um, but I would rather get these at SAS because you can get them for 75% off. So I do have a few more in my stockpile. All right. I made it through the Sea Allen Shore set. Another exciting accomplishment. Sea Allen Shore Clean Cotton Orange Blossom Blue Freesia in Ocean Musk. Made it through this. I'm glad that I do have a backup, but I don't have the cream. I'm trying my best not to back up creams i'm starting to back up lotions so made it through that set all right i made it through a scrub this was one of the scrubs i also picked up at target on clearance i think i either bought two or three of these wish i had bought more i think i bought two of them because they were three dollars and 47 cents now this is the type of scrub that i like but i have to say that this one is a little bit more coarser than i like so what i would do is i would add a little body wash in my hand to kind of soften it up and it worked very well and this has a very nice fragrance to it wish i had gotten more but this is a hand or body scrub from Shea Moisture. All right, made it through this. This is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. So um, I shared this in my latest collective haul. If you haven't seen that collective haul, you can click the card above. But they have this at Sephora. And as of Sunday, I think, Saturday or Sunday, um, they had this still online. This ounce this five point this five ounce container it costs twenty five dollars regular price however they have a special going where they give you a travel size one which is 2.5 ounces for a dollar more so you can get this one plus a half size of this one for twenty six dollars now i do not advise waiting to spring savings because it's not guaranteed to be there if you want to take a chance and wait i would suggest it but because this is a staple in my skincare routine i just went ahead and got it because i wanted to get the best for my money all right hubby made it through one of the pumpkin butters i tell you that this is his favorite one out of all of the trader joe's butters that they have he liked the pumpkin one better he said he likes the texture of it. It just seems to be more moisturizing in his opinion. So that's the pumpkin body butter. All right, also from Trader Joe's. Let's have a little conversation here. Now, this was a part of the glow set and it does come with a fine fragrance mist. But here you have the body scrub, the body wash, and the body butter so i made it through these but no need to talk about the body butter because everyone is familiar with that which is supposed to come out in may which is next month but this body scrub this was something new that they put out last year it's really nice it's my type of body scrub because it is a coarser more abrasive body scrub totally enjoyed it i think i have one left in my stockpile so i am definitely going to be on a mission next month trying to obtain these items so um this is the scrub but this right here you guys this is so good this is the body wash if i did not know that this came from trader joe's i promise you i would think that this is some type of luxury body wash this body wash feels so good it it feels like luxury body wash now you know they say that this is supposed to be like the dupe to sol de janeiro that's what we've called it or labeled it as but try to get you some of this when it comes out in may and the reason that i say that because it has been rumored that they are going to do full sizes of this as well so they're going to be adding this to the brazil nut um butter set 
So you can get the butters, you can get the scrubs, and they're supposed to be bringing in the body wash. But this is so good. Ooh, this is so good. And it has a very nice, soft, subtle fragrance to it. I just totally enjoy it. I think I have one glow set left, which makes me sad. So I really got to be on a mission when this stuff comes out because it sells out relatively quick. And at my location, um, they put a limit on you. So you're going to need hubby or your partner or someone to go with you so y'all can tag team that thing and go, you know, a couple days. All right, made it through this. No, my daughter made it through this. She really likes this. She likes the um, illuminating, shimmering body glow. I think I have one of these left and I hid it for myself because this stuff is so pricey now. You used to find this in Walmart for $6, $6 or $7. But now that it's discontinued, they're selling this stuff on Amazon and eBay for, I saw one as high as $24 for one little jar, but it's really nice. It is a really nice product. It's not too greasy. It's not too shimmery. It's really nice. Really enjoy that. And that's made by Vaseline. All right, made it through this. This is something that I keep in my hair, um, hair care. This is the Josie Curl Style. This is just a moisturizing spray that I spray on my hair just to give it a little bit moisture on a daily basis. All right, made it through many of these, but this is the only one that I have because they get lost in transition some kind of way. All right, I picked this up with one of the 850 um, free body care items among the clouds and it was just soap. So we made it through that. All right, I made it through this. This is a Good Molecules. Um, I've used Good Molecules on and off. I was really, really heavy on it probably back in 18 or 19 pre-pandemic. I really, I've used just about all of their products and this was something that I had and this is the Yoruba um, Matte, Yoruba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. And it does work, it really does work. It kind of lessens the bags under your eyes and it helps. And Good Molecules is a good product for a very affordable price. So I would definitely recommend looking into this line. All right, made it through a wipe. I just picked these up. I don't even really read, I just pick them up. These are just things that I keep at my vanity and I do use them to wipe off um, my mascara because I do wear mascara on a daily basis. Um, and even if I'm going, if, even if I've worn foundation in the day, I will go over my face with this, but I'm going to always do a detail wash. So I made it through that. I made it through this. I tell you guys all the time, I am a big essential oiler. I love essential oils. This is a lavender oil. Made it through this. Um, I do put this in a mist bottle with just a little alcohol and a little oil because it does help relax you. So this is just way better in my opinion than picking something up from Bath & Body Works because you can really intensify the lavender in it because this is just pure lavender oil and you can kind of like make your own mixture. And um, I really like using this and I use it for other other things as well. All right, made it through a bacterial um, hand sanitizer spray. And I made it through two fragrance items. I'm sad to see this go. Wow, I really wish I had another one of these. I do not want to go on Macari and give no one 50 or $60. But it's really good, you guys. This is like the Vanilla 28. It does not smell like vanilla. This is like the Vanilla 28 of Bath & Body Works because this is the one perfume that you can mix and combine with so many things. So many things, even outside of Bath & Body Works. Oh, this is so good. I think it just had pear and honey in it. I'm just so sad that this is gone. I'm out. I think I have one mini spray left and one mini body wash and cream left. Bath and Body Works, if you're out there, bring this back. 
this is a good one the candle suck but the body care products and the fragrance was good all right and last but not least i made it through the last sunday morning lazy sunday morning this came from a kushret set that i got some time ago and yes i did go and buy a full bottle because i completely enjoyed this fragrance so those are all the things that i made it through this month myself and my family so if you um, have any additional questions about any of the products that I shared with you, please leave the questions in the comment section below if you have any comments or commentary about the products that I share with you. Share that below as well. So I want to thank you guys again for coming back to the channel and do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.